a chunk of inmates who find themselves in major prisons in Ghana were arrested for drug-related offenses. While some were arrested for possession, others were arrested for using the drugs. A former executive secretary of the Narcotics Control Board, Yao Akresi Sapon, says the approach used in fighting drug-related offenses in Ghana has been retrogressive. We, 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 ah, how many, how many, how many drug people? I mean, the big time guy have been arrested in Ghana. Uh, you know, you know, you are, you are journalists. I want you to investigate the thing yourself. You know, and do the database so that you be educating the public and say that in 2023, hundred big shots were arrested. This is what it we we saved. Five thousand small smokers who were not using violence were arrested, and it's how much the state. Even when they are arrested, do you know how much it takes a day to feed them? Even if it's minimum, even if it's one city, it means five thousand a day. Thereabout. I'm not saying that is what it is, but you know there was a time when you have about five. Let's say we have five thousand, even three thousand prisoners, even a thousand prisoners, it means the state is spending thousand cities on them in a day. That is if it is, and if it is for uh, a year, what does that be? 365,000. If it's for two years, you are going to a million. Could that thing not be used for something else? You know, it could be used for education and helping them get out of it. The Narcotics Control Commission Act 2020, Act 1019, has converted the prison term for drug possession for personal use into a fine of between 200 and 500 penalty units. This means that people will no longer be sent to prison for up to 10 years for possessing drugs for personal use with this law in place. The executive director of POS Foundation, Jonathan Osei Owusu, believes the implementation of the new drug law will help decongest Ghana's prisons. When somebody uses drug, he is like somebody who is sick. He needs help. So we do not want to see drug use to, from the uh, criminal point of view, but from the public health and human rights point of view. So that if somebody uses drug, the person will be given treatment from a rehab so that the person can be reintegrated back into society rather than sending the person to prison. Why? Because when they get to prison through a rule of marijuana, they get contaminated with hardened criminals. They come out and home sweet home, as they call it, they want to go back there because that is where they have the friends. This time he may go in with a gun, taking somebody's life because we could have just made the person stay outside, have a rehabilitation process, and then the person will get reformed. The issue of recidivism, or re-offending will just not be uh, an issue in our system. But when you have somebody going to prison over a role of marijuana and coming back and going again, that person may go in through something serious that may take people's life. That is why we are looking at drug use from that point of view. He also appealed for a presidential pardon for persons sentenced for possessing drugs for personal use. The Open Society Initiative for West Africa, OSIWA, and the POS Foundation spearheaded a training workshop for officers from the Drug Law Enforcement and Prosecution Units on the Act. Head of Legal and Prosecution at the Ashanti Regional Police Command, ACP Kofi Blagoji, believes such engagements will enhance police work. It's going to help the police serve because these are some of the reformations that have been introduced by the police administration that a policeman should see their work not basically as maybe trying to make sure that people go into uh, prisons, but the other way of reform, reformation that will enhance individual citizens. Uh, so all these are part of the, what we are trying to do. Stakeholders are hopeful the implementation of the act will help Ghana to effectively fight against drugs. Hafiz Tijani, City News, Kumase.